What's up guys, Joe McGovern with JMCAD. This is part five of Rollerball. If you're looking to learn C-sharp scripting and the Unity software package, you came to the right place. I'll see you guys out there, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Unity Spectacular Beginner video. This is part number five and this is gonna be a quick one. We are going to get our collectibles rotating. Here we go. All right, so definitely go check out those other parts before you watch this one, just so that you're caught up. And so go ahead and double click your rotator script, open that up. At this point, you can go ahead and take out the start function. We are not going to be using that. And we will be using void update for this because we want our cubes to rotate based on every frame of the game. We will not use fixed update like we did in the past videos because fixed update has to do with forces and we're just gonna use something called transform to transform the movement of the cube. All right, so back in the first video when we were setting up our project, we made our pickups be a 45, 45, 45 in the X, Y, and Z. That's why they're tilted on all three axes right now instead of just looking like regular cubes. We need to write something in our script that's gonna make those numbers change every frame of the game. So that's why we're gonna use what's called transform rotate. All right, so type this code and then we'll talk about what it means after. Transform.rotate open parenthesis, new vector three, open parenthesis again, 15 comma 30 comma 45, two closed parentheses and your semicolon. So let's break down this first part here. We've got transform rotate. Transform means we're gonna move something in the game. And since this script is linked to our pickup objects, when we say transform, that means that we're going to do some kind of movement with our pickup. There are two kinds of transform. Number one is rotate like we are using, and that just means to simply rotate the object in 3D space, keeping its X, Y, and Z position the same, but rotating its angles. And then there's transform translate, which means to move the 3D object in space based on its X, Y, and Z position. We are then creating a new vector three, which again has to do with an X, Y, and Z number, three different axes. In this case, we're talking about the three axes of rotation. By adding in these numbers, 15, 30, and 45, the cube will smoothly rotate perfectly on the plane. Keep in mind that this vector three has nothing to do with the other script that we've already used vector three in. As I hover over this, you'll see it says float X, float Y, and float Z. So these three are float numbers, which again means that they are a decimal place number. And obviously a float number, like we said, is much more accurate than an integer, which would just be one, two, three, four, five, whole numbers. So at this point, I want you guys to go ahead and do a control shift S, even though we're not quite done with this script yet. As long as you went to the prefabs folder, clicked on pickup, and then in the inspector of pickups, added your script on there, it will add to each pickup in the game. So go ahead and hit play and see what that does. You'll notice that your cubes are spinning incredibly fast right now. And the reason is, is that right now it's in the update function, which is causing this to update every single frame of the game. So as fast as your computer possibly is, as far as 120 frames per second, 300 frames per second, that's how many times it's spinning the cube in one frame. So go ahead and hit play to stop that. Let's go back to our script and we're gonna type one more thing. So in order for us to slow the speed of the cubes down, you're gonna wanna do times time dot delta time. So if you do a control shift S here and you go back to our game and you hit play, you'll see that the cubes are rotating at a much more comfortable speed which we can still change if we would like. If you think they're not rotating fast enough, go back to your script and multiply the entire thing by two or five or 10 or whatever you want it to do. Let's do times five and see what that does. And that's it guys, the cubes are rotating. That's exactly what we wanted from this short video. While I have your attention, if you guys could like the video and push it out into the YouTube abyss, if you could subscribe to the channel if you wanna see other videos and obviously turn on the bell if you wanna get future notifications. I really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>